Morning, people, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. I know it's a lot later than expected, but it was a late night for me last night getting back from Ellen Road. I was then on the Roaring Peacocks charity podcast from 7 a.m. to 11, a uh, little naps in between loads going on. So, um, later than usual, I am here. We'll be back tomorrow as well with the daily leads. And this evening, you will also have your top flight news by. But this is the final word on Leeds' last game of the season when we won our 3 1 winners against West Brook. Heard it right, it's going to be just Joe, and it's going to be all about football. He showed the same. Bam, Fruity Yes! I've yes. not seen m- many more appearances from Pablo. Fantastic, inaugural guest. I have to pull out the big guns. So then, folks, yesterday was, of course, the final swan song of these two legends who are just over my shoulder here, Gaetano Berardi and, of course, Pablo Hernandez. Uh, What a fitting tribute. I'll never forget that game being able to be there, of course. I was one of uh, the lucky few that was there, hence the voice is still a bit sketchy. And I look like a zombie, um, which isn't too different (laughs) to how I uh, to how I normally look. But yeah, such a fitting tribute for them to absolute legends. Um, I've seen some lovely tributes come out, but some of the words that were used, you know, it's better to have loved and lost than to never loved at all. Um, I've seen a lovely one from my main man Oscar saying, "Don't cry because it's over." Smile because it happened. Uh, and thank you, El Maggio. Thank you, Berra. Um, you know, it was it was a, a really fitting tribute. Look, we got the penalty after Pablo got <laughs> took off. And I was like, no, he could have took the penalty because there was a few chances that he had in the game. I don't know if you watched it live, you'll have seen it. They didn't show much on the highlights, but there was one where he, he touched it with his right onto his left. And genuinely, the emotion that was coming up through my body as I thought that was going to nestle in the top bins. Um, oh, the roof had gone off. The roof had gone off. But it was look, It was still an amazing, amazing send off for both of them. Um, it was lovely to obviously hear or, or and also partake in the chant. Pablo Hernandez, Gaetano Berardi for for long before and long after they went. Genuinely, guys, being there at the game, even when the lads came out to do their warm ups, their shuttle runs, and the cones out and take the shots. The fact, you know, the chants were coming out from the cop and you could see the grin. I mean, Bill Erling smiles at the best of the time, but I've not seen a grin as as wide as that. Calvin, the same, Cooper, Bamford. It was it was just an awesome occasion. And we're hearing that we're all going to be back next season, which I can not wait for. Um, you know, Berardi, that's now. Um, we haven't conceded a single goal with Berardi on the pitch in his last nine matches. So 457 minutes of football have been played and he has zero conceded and unbeaten in his last 19 league games. A great end to his seven years at the club, especially when you consider how it started and what he's been through. Um, you know, and, and as Barani said, I, I bet he feels fucking great. Um, he did say, look, it's been a crazy experience and, and, and that it has, you know. Um, both of them absolute legends on the game itself of course I said on my match day vlog that you can check out on the Just Your Football show that I did yesterday thank you to everyone that watched that as well uh, it's gone down really well I believe um, I said Rafinha had scored I, I thought he had you know at first I thought it was Berardi I'm not, I was like is it better is it better because I'm at the other side of the stadium obviously one it was Rodrigo who nestled it in from a Jack Harrison corner to be honest when, when we were one up I thought we were cruising you know 2-0 up at half time I said you know, half time we don't lose games, and I thought it would have been. It could and should, and maybe more would have been a cricket score. In the end, three goals was enough. Five last time out, eight past West Brom. That's why you're going down. That's why you're going down. Um, as we were singing in the stands, um, Rodrigo though, that's four in four now. That's four in four from Rodrigo. A couple of assists in there too. Wait for next season. That boy, he's my pick for top goal scorer next season. I, I, I believe that. To, to be the case. Of course, Calvin got him, he, himself his first Premier League goal. It was nice to see him point to the sky as well for Nani Val. Um, good, decent free kick. Probably Sam Johnson should do better. It bounces just before him, though, um, and ends up in the back of the net. 2 0 cruising at half time, aren't you? Uh, Alioski's nearly scored an own goal. Feel a bit sorry for Alioski because, based on what Stuart Dallas says, it sounds like he's leaving. It sounds like he's leaving. So he didn't really get much of a send off. I, I suppose it's still up in the air. 
But then again, even if it was confirmed, he's not up to the levels of Berardi and especially not Pablo in that respect in terms of cult status, for me anyway. Um, but yeah, obviously, half-time changes were made. Bamford came on, got his 17th goal to the dismay of, of course, uh, Philip Miles on All Leeds TV. He said he would get 16. He almost did, but he came off the bench. I mean, it was a definite penalty. Um, and Bamford nestled it nicely in the back of the net. Um, Kanu got a consolation goal from uh, a KP error. KP error. It was passed back from Cooper. KP's touch letting down Kanu in first time strike. What I felt quite funny is is the veracity in which Kanu picked up the ball and ran to the halfway line. I was like, what? What's this guy on about? You know, we're hammering him. It's it, it's nearly it's nearly game over. Like, what's what's he doing? Um, I suppose maybe the new manager was watching on or something. You don't know. Um, Listen, disappointing to see Calvin at the end. Look, I was in the cop. It looked like a poor challenge on reflection, seeing it back. It was a great challenge. But was it a little bit needless? Look, maybe he was trying to make up for the error. You could see Calvin was buoyed up for the occasion. He was putting, um, you know, Conor Gallagher in the bin a few times. I thought Calvin had a great game yesterday. But it could keep him out of the Euros. We're hearing that he might be all right and he's touch and go. So that'll be the decision on Gareth on whether or not he takes him. Obviously, Hanan... Uh, Henderson, Hernandez, he's not English. Henderson's back now, so, um, you know, it, it might be touch and go, but I hope, you know, fingers crossed for Calvin that he's okay and, and he gets to go to, to the game. You know, let's not forget as well, just to summarise, guys, you know, we were supposed to struggle in this division, yeah? We were supposed to burn out. There's only Liverpool who've got a better record over us in the last 10 games, and they obviously got Champions League football. We were three wins Three wins away ourselves from Champions League football. We finished ninth in the table. We were supposed to tire. We won our last four games of the season, scoring 12 goals, conceding only two. You know, Bamford was supposed to struggle at elite level. He scored 17 goals. You know, superb. Bielsa, inspirational. An amazing season. One defeat in 11 games and four wins on the bounce to end the season. And people are talking about burnout. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself, you know. Finish the season with 59 points, the best tally by a newly promoted side since Ipswich in 2000, 2001. You know, we secured a ninth place finish in the Premier League, our highest points tally in a single top flight season since 2002, where we finished fifth. You know, people will say, oh, you know, Sheffield United finished ahead, or, you know, in terms of the table, you know, Wolves got Europe. Yeah, but that's a different season, you know. Point tally were different. If we'd have competed in that season, we'd have got Europe. Do you know what I mean? Here's what it is. You know, we scored 62 Premier League goals this season, which is a new record for a newly promoted side in the 38-game season, you know. And, of course, Marcelo Bielsa now has the highest win percentage of any Leeds head coach or manager in our history. More than Revy, guys. More than Revy. That's, some, that's no mean feat, you know. No mean feet and three wins away from the Champions League. Amazing, amazing stuff. It's been an amazing first season back in, in elite football in the Premier League. You know, I say no season, Europe, Europe. Obviously, it didn't quite happen. You know, Brighton lost did us, but then again, Spurs won, so that meant we wouldn't have got in anyway. You know, I look back over the season, you think about them three wins. Both the Brighton games, we were terrible, but Wolves, both them, we deserve something on. Arsenal at home, maybe if we play City again at home with the fans in the ground, we get points. So we're not that far off. With a few quality additions next season, why not? European football. Great, great first season back. Great to be a part of, of the content of All Leeds TV um, through this, this mad period. You know, everything's going to change back when we go back to the grounds um, you know, it's going to switch up, it's going to change. But I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart, you know, for, for um, you know, following me and, of, of course, All Leeds TV during lockdown, during the journey as the channel's grown, both this and All Leeds TV. It's been an amazing experience. Um, truly, truly, I'm grateful for everything. Uh, <laughs> genuinely, um, an amazing season. An amazing end. Goodbye, Gaetano, the Lion, the Swiss Prince, Berardi. And, of course, El Maggio, you know. El Maggio, Pablo Hernandez. What a great, what a guy. And what, what an end to the season, 3-1. Three, Three wins away from Champions League. Wow, not bad, eh? Highest points, Tully. Highest number of goals scored. You know, Ilya Melier. Highest clean sheets. 
Jack Harrison, best performing English midfielder, you know, second only to Bruno Fernandes, you know, and, and half of Bruno Fernandes goals are bloody penalties, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Luke Kaling, most progressive runs in Europe, you know, elite level, elite level stats put out from maybe not elite level bowlers, well, they are to me, but not to the rest of the division. But we know about this Leeds United side. And Bielsa, hopefully, will sign a new deal very soon. It's supposed to be announced next week. I'll catch up with all that stuff on the Daily Leeds, which will be landing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you as always for watching. It's been a pleasure. Please smash a like on the stream, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and of course, get that notification bell on. And I'll see you in a bit.